In the following video, we are going to have a look at the ITEP Mabel from ITEP Studio and, uh, as it says, an Arduino compatible ARM prototyping platform. The ITEP Mabel is actually a clone of the Leaf Labs Mabel, which is an Arduino uh, prototyping board. It has the same form factor as an Arduino, but instead of containing an AVR chip, an 8-bit microprocessor, this contains an STM32, which is a Cortex M3 ARM processor. This processor is running 72 MHz and uh, contains a lot more flash and SRAM than the Arduino. And uh, the board, the great thing about the board is that it can be programmed using the same IDE as you use for the Arduino. And as you can see, the form factor is the same. You can fit uh, the same shields on this board. And uh, to port and use a li library for the Arduino, there's not the much change to be done. This iTape Mabel, though, is a clone of the Leaf Labs Mabel. And it's the Leaf Labs uh, company that has made this IDE and uh, development board ready for the market. And iTet Studio has decided to make a clone of it, uh, of the Leaf Labs Mabel, with this board and uh, a bit of a change. So, uh, in this review, we're going to have a look on this board and see how it performs uh, compared to the Arduino. And also, I'm going to connect this 2.4 inch display also from iTet Studio. It's a display containing a display controller, and this is running 8 bit. So, it connects directly on top of this and uh, is then drived by some 8 bit uh, Motorola 8080 interface. And uh, there, there's already a library made for this but it's for the Arduino, so uh, I've decided to port the library to the ITET Mabel board and uh, see how it uh, performs. And of course everything, including the source code for this library, ported library, can be found at our blog. First, let's have a look on how this port works and integrates with the computer. So I'll plug in a USB mini into the USB mini port and the, the board will enumerate on my computer after I've installed the IDE, the Mabel IDE and the drivers and we'll be able to open a, an example for example we could go to digital and then select the blink it is the same code and routine as used on the Arduino uh, Dumoulino or Mega the Arduino series and uh, then we can uh, press the normal upload button in the IDE to uh, upload the code to the board and then it will compile using the free G, uh, GNU uh, GCC compiler and it will uh, program the board and on the board we'll notice that the LED starts blinking. So this is a blink example and uh, there's not much difference from this right now it looks totally the same as the Arduino and the Arduino IDE. And this is because this, the environment is the same, the language is the same and almost everything has been ported to this board. But the great change is the more processing power you got with this ARM processor. You got a lot more speed and a lot more analog inputs and PVM outputs which you of course on the computer can find in uh, sensors, uh, analog sorry, and, uh, and use them from there. On the ITEP Mabel or the Maple homepage you can find more specific information on which ports can be used as what. So what I mean is here you'll see a lot of pins and over here too but you'll notice that these pins doesn't actually say analog and that's because these are exactly dedicated for analog purpose they can be anything almost. 
Also, the great thing about this chip is it contains not only one, but if I remember correctly, it contains two serial RS-232, for example, ports. So you don't have to make a software serial port if you need uh, multiple ports, like on the Arduino do Milano. And uh, then you also got an expansion port over here, which uh, gives you some extra IOs. Another great thing about this board, and especially the chip which is on this board, is the USB connection. Because this chip has a USB peripheral, which is the USB peripheral connected here, you can make your own USB applications. Currently, the board and the chip is programmed uh, with a bootloader, which is a uh, USB bootloader. So, when you upload code to it, you do it by USB access. You could also make your own applications with the use of a USB port without uh, any change. Or actually, currently the bootloader itself is making the USB port as a virtual uh, serial port, so you have to change and remove that function. But remember, the chip has the USB functionality, so you're able to make USB applications. Also, the the board here, I said it had uh, two uh, serial ports, UART, uh, sorry, I meant three, but the great thing is also the number of uh, I2C and SPI connections. It's got two of those, uh, which makes it uh, even more uh, useful for embedded applications, as you don't have to use the same port for everything, making it slow. But one minor thing is that this board runs on 3.3 volt. 3.3 uh, volt is uh, very used, uh, very broad in embedded applications. Though as the Arduino is running 5 volts, some shields may not function properly uh, with this board. You would also have to take care of these 5 volts as yeah, the chip is 5 volt compliant, but it uh, only sends out 3.3 volt at high signals. Though most TTL devices and CMOS devices is able to read 3.3 volt as a high, but please take it in mind if you are going to connect this board to something which is 5 volt compliant or 5 volt uh, is using 5 volt. So uh, let's have a look at what happens when we uh, plug in the display module. So I'm going to plug this into the board. We will see it lights up. So let me reset the board and we should see something. And there it was. And uh, as I said, this is an already pre-made library. And uh, I take no credit for the library as this is uh, M. Carlson, as you can see who made the library for the Arduino. I only did the porting thing, uh, which includes changing some of the library specific uh, functions, which uses some ABR specific functions, and uh, also changing the port specific calls uh, to the port registers on the ABR chip. I changed this to call the specific registers on the STM32, making it uh, very fast to update the display. As you can see, it uh, also updates uh, very fastly compared to the Arduino, which we're going to have a look at in a moment. So yeah, uh, this is the same example as provided for the Arduino. Uh, nothing changed there, as you just have to uh, remember to include this uh, ported library into the Mabel IDE. Uh, so uh, let's have a look at another example and see how that works. Again, I just go to the IDE and select examples where I now can find my installed library. The library from uh, M. Uh, Carlson. And here I can select the landscape example to show how that works. And uh, the landscape is compared to the portrait uh, the same, uh, though this is portrait mode, 
I'm now going to upload this and we'll notice how the screen is being rotated as we're going into landscape mode. So uh, now when it has finished uploading, we'll see the demonstration in uh, landscape mode. So yeah, that's another example and demonstration of this display. To make a comparison, I've now uploaded the same sketch to the Arduino Domino board, which is running the same library, except that this is not ported, this is our, the original one. And uh, you'll notice a huge difference in the speed especially when it comes to these random generated dots in a second you'll notice it takes a long time for it to to generate it is both the randomizing process but also the pixel drawing process that takes a lot more time on the Arduino de Milano because of the speed also you notice here it says it took 44 seconds while it only took about 32 seconds on the ITAP mail so this is a good example of the, the speed, that the speed is uh, much faster uh, on the ITAP Mabel, so making the refresh rate and image drawing very faster. The display also contains a touchscreen, though I haven't ported the touchscreen interface yet, the touchface library, though it shouldn't be that difficult. Um, so I'll have a look on that, and also the SPI port here. Uh, it would work as uh, the SD card sorry, is using the SPI port, so it uh, definitely should work. And I've made applications with SD cards uh, on the STM32 process port before, so uh, it should definitely be able to, to do it on the ITAP Mabel 2. I haven't had a look on that yet, as my main uh, purpose was to get uh, <clears throat> this uh, board working with the display. So, uh, <coughs> oh, sorry. So I hope uh, you can use this uh, display together with the iTet Mabel and Arduino even, uh, and I hope you will find the the library useful. Though please have in mind the library isn't uh, fully ported. There might be some uh, errors and mistakes that has to be taken care of, and here I especially think about some of the. Uh, bitmap loading functions, but I'll have a final look on that before posting it, so you'll be able to, to find the code uh, on our blog uh, at the blog post about this ITET Mabel board. So I hope you uh, enjoyed uh, watching this demonstration, and I hope you got some uh, interesting information about this, uh, let me get this off, about this ITET board. And uh, the Mabel board especially, and I hope you are going to buy such kind of board or some kind of other ARM board because ARM processors are the way to go. ARM processors is the is the embedded processor. You will find them in uh, almost every embedded applications. It's also the processor to be found in your mobile phone if you have a as a new one. <laughs> um, I use the STM32 series a lot in all of my embedded applications which you probably saw some of uh, of my YouTube videos and uh, if you got any uh, interest in this sp uh, particular chip and series please uh, do not hesitate contacting me I'll of course uh, answer your questions. So uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, video and uh, thank you very much for watching.